is actually using and uh, we are using uh, this uh, what we call the google form to uh, collect the responses and when we uh, uh, you know after getting the sufficient response or suppose our study required the 300 or 400 sample size so we uh, generate a link of google form and we share to our uh, respondents or to target audience and they uh, fill the questionnaire and then after getting that we generate a csv file dot csv file uh, in google docs uh, send then the that same file we can uh, import to our excel sheet and it is basically an excel file so we can do all these data management things on that file also so here the uh, the, the spss is actually working the 40 or 50 percent part what excel can also do uh, now, if we see the data analysis part, that is also very important because uh, we know that whatever research analysis we do, we can categorize in the three part, the univariate statistics, the bivariate statistics, and the multivariate statistics. So everybody knows that what is the univariate statistics. Uh, so I'm just, uh, in, uh, will take a few minutes because uh, in Excel also, we can do the initial two analysis that is univariate and bivariate statistics. So if we are collecting, you know, the name of uh, name from our class, it uh, doesn't give, you know, any kind of uh, statistical uh, value uh, to uh, to design a class strategy or to design a, uh, the, the university strategy. So the univariate statistics basically used to you know just to represent a data, which can easily uh, can be done by uh, using the Excel. Yes, bivariate statistics has some merit because here there are two variables. And uh, if we are seeing, we can in, in statistical uh, terms, we can say that there are X and Y variables. So if X is rising, uh, Y may also rise or may decline. So these kind of relationship we can uh, see in this bivariate statistics. This can also be performed by the uh, SPSS as well as itself. But in, in multivariate statistics, where there are more than two variables, uh, analyzing uh, research or analyzing uh, the the hypothesis, especially in Excel, will be a challenging task. So, so though now we have different uh, application, SPSS is one of the best uh, we can say because here, if we see the factor analysis, the conjoint analysis, the cluster analysis, the multiple regression analysis, we all this, these all can easily be performed by the by using uh, the SPSS uh, software. So this is the window uh, we can see. This is a data view. Here we are seeing that how the data is, uh, has been entered. I will show you practically that how we can, uh, we will enter the data as it is given, uh, it's one of the objective of our today's session. So it is important to understand that these are the information I have mentioned uh, some arrow that what is, uh, uh, what we call to these lines or to these spaces. So there are cell information, there are cell edit field here we can edit it. And then last, in the last, uh, we have we are seeing that there are the status bar or the boxes. Now, if you see that uh, data, now I will come on the practical part because this is the theory part it is given here. So I'm going to share now this, uh, the, the screen of SPSS. Uh, wait for a minute. Because practically you will learn more. This is the theory part. So I think it is visible to all of you. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Sir. Okay. So, uh, you know, uh, this is already a file. Uh, I'm just going to make it uh, clean for you so that you can easily understand it. Okay, so this is a file uh, we will see, you know, while opening uh, the uh, uh, SPSS. So if you see that, uh, you know, icon, if it is given on your desktop, you can double click it 
and this kind of you uh, know uh, the file will open or if you, you don't have that icon on your desktop you can go in the type search option and then here you can type the uh, spss and then definitely this file will open you can just double click it this kind of uh, file will open here there are two view that is data view and the variable view is it visible to all of you that data i am just uh, showing my cursor on data view and the variable view this is data view and this is variable view can you see it yes yes sir yes sir okay that's great so now if we see uh, this is basically a file i have i was already using so i will open a new file for you because here in data view there are already uh, two three variables i have already named them so either you can you know remove it or i can open another file so it will be good if i will open a, another file for you save changes no yes spss is it visible to all of you the file no sir no sir no sir i don't know sir is it, it is basically a, yeah it is no it is a major issue that you know when using the spss the automatically it goes down from the screen sir uh, firstly you know open spss and then screen share and then after click on spss okay wait wait wait, wait. now i am not able to uh, share it now i don't know is that wait 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 variable view okay i think now it is visible now huh? yes sir yes sir yes yes sir so here now first Uh, if we are you know using spss for our uh, data part data analysis part first we will see that you know we have to enter the data manually i will also tell you that how we can import the data but here the first important thing that uh, suppose we we have a small data set or we don't want to import the data from other format so we will enter the data manually and now here we can see that there are in variable there are two view the data view and the variable so whenever we have to define the variables we will use this variable view first and here uh, for example this name type with decimals labels values and this missing values everything is given here so now first we will enter the data here suppose uh, you know up, uh, coming on this point that's name now if uh, we are uh, suppose conducting a survey on the performance of the uh, automobile sector or the car or suppose we are conducting uh, uh, the study especially on the to measure the performance of our students in the classroom so we can uh, take an example here suppose we are conducting uh, research to measure the performance of different cars so here there is a name so first uh, we can see that there is a name name may be the model so model means the car model now the name of the car uh, will be uh, a kind of uh, string variable there are the, the, when we click this type we will see this kind of uh, window will pop up and here the uh, you know you will see this numeric comma dot scientific notation date dollar custom currency string and restricted numeric you have to see this that when you are entering the name that is model model of the car it may be the tata it may be the ford it may be the hyundai it may be the honda city some you know any car can be there so there will be a name and name definitely it will be a string so you must understand that what kind of data or what kind what type of data you will you need in this particular uh, you know section so if it is a model definitely it will be a name and name cannot be a numeric 
it will be a string data so we have to select the type as a string now we will we will take this okay it will take automatically the eight bits that means uh, the this name will be not more than this uh, eight characters we can say so whatever uh, model we will put if it is more than eight character it will automatically reduce to the eight character now any model name cannot uh, be it is not, not it is not a numeric data so it will not be in decimal form also so it is already here it is given now when we come to this label so we will say we have to define the label so what what it we have already told you that these are the name of the car so we will mention this that name of the uh, car now we have to define the values so there are more than uh, you know one car more than two car more than three car so we will define that one is for uh, you know suppose we were we are taking this uh, honda so i will i have to define here that one is for honda yes the second value that is second is for hyundai uh, that is also good then yeah, there are other manufacturers the other brand that is third so we can say here the tata and now then the fourth that is for mahindra and so many other you uh, know model names can be there so we can say we will click ok and it will define the values that is whatever i know in data view whatever uh, model will come it will define them the numeric value so we have uh, you know the we are actually converting the name and assigning them a numeric data because i have told you the spss will only analyze the uh, numeric data now this missing needs a uh, entirely a different chapter usually in uh, statistics especially for the academic purpose what we do we actually uh, use this missing data we have to clean our data before entering to the spss otherwise we have a different kind of statistics uh, issue that we can uh, uh, you know this we can define them by discrete missing value but this is a standard practice for academic research that we opt this no missing values thing so that the analysis part will be go smoother now there are the alignment it is of no use here are the important thing which i have already told you that you have to define the skills now name name doesn't mean that you know they, they don't have that kind of relationship of greater or lesser than so the scale will be a nominal scale and here are the uh, role it is in the advanced version after this 2024 5 they have added this particular options so if we are you know uh, uh, using the this particular uh, data as an input data if we have to take this input if we are analyzing for uh, independent variables or we are seeing the relationship between uh, dependent or independent relationship then we will see this target uh, we will opt this target and in case we are seeing a both kind of relationship we will select this both and the last these two things were using by the uh, you know data mining or some uh, big size of research now after this model what we we can see the other features may be uh, the uh, mileage so mileage is important mileage we can say we have to enter here mileage and the string mileage will be definitely the numeric data because uh, uh, if you all of you are using this two wheeler or four wheeler we see the mileage is 100 km per liter or the 60 km per liter kind of thing so this is a numeric data yes it may be in decimal but usually whatever companies are offering they actually give a absolute number they give the 108 km per liter or 100 or 60 km per liter they never say that 102.81 km per liter so kind of so, so we will see here also we will take the zero decimal now here we have to define the label so can you can someone explain what will be this label here for mileage from the you know the from the participant side can somebody ex explain that what what can be the label for mileage This is how, you know, this is what your role is. You have to uh, understand that how we can explain uh, the, uh, you know, the variable name here in detail. Otherwise it will be very difficult while interpreting the data. Mileage is basically, we are seeing that in, uh, in particular liter, I mean, in, uh, in a liter, 
how much distance a car can cover that is called the mileage so simply we can explain here that the distance uh, mileage i mean distance covered per liter okay so it is also you know here, here there is uh, no need to put the value missing no and this is also a kind of scale data now next is uh, the uh, engine's horsepower so I, when i tried if you are seeing this when i tried to write more than the horse and then i tried to give a space and try to write the uh, the entire word that is hot spot it said that you are entering uh, you are typing a right so here only horse can be written or hp can be written and the label should be explained by using that horse power so here we can see that we are uh, explaining this hp as a horse power and hp will also be a numeric data and it doesn't it may need the decimal value it may require the decimal value but we are also saying here this uh, no now there are uh, the different kind of horsepower to different kind of uh, the cars so if we want to uh, define them like for example uh, we are putting the value 1 for uh, the car which have the uh, horse horsepower value of 60 or we can uh, say that uh, value 2 for the car which have the horsepower value 100 kind of is you no know, these uh, kind of uh, values we can put to define uh, the data now there is no missing values right yes this is also a scale data now we see that we are you know uh, year year we, we can take uh, the year of manufacturing or we can say the origin of the country from where the data is being of where from where the car is being manufactured so origin will be a country here this will be a string data we can enter here is string and this and then label we can decide here the origin or the country of origin of the car see you that uh, we have different manufacturer car manufacturer belongs to different country for example if we see that ford is belongs to germany and tata is belongs to india honda is belong to japan honda is belong to uh, korea so we have to uh, you know uh, give the values to each of these country for example one we have labeled it as an india two we have value as you know uh, germany or the nearby countries we can say they like them european union so we can say the eu three is most of the indian cars most of the car in india you know the japanese manufacturer are there so we can take this japan and also we can say four for united states or america so the here we have also mentioned data now this is variable so we can define so many variables here this list you know you can add so many variables for example uh, you know the year of manufacturing or we can say the weight of the car we can define number of variables now if we see that what the data we will say then we will click to this data now we are seeing that there are four variables we have already defined and if we click on the particular variables the model so it is given the entire detail of that variable that is name uh, and uh, the label name of the car a type is string measure is nominal next is mileage we have already defined and then the hp Uh, and even the horsepower and the origin of the country so now we are actually conducting the survey so we will take the model name so the first model we are taking the uh, this uh, honda city now here we are we are seeing that we have this cursor we can take this honda the first model is honda because we have already taken the four model so there are four model and we can opt the first model was honda now if we see the mileage we can see it is it is giving the 102 mileage the hp we have already defined two variables 60 and 100 so it is 60 origin of country we have already defined four countries that is in, uh, sorry honda is from japan now because we have taken only these four variables so there are we, we can enter the data under these four variables if we def, we have more number of variables we can define number of variables here also now the second model we are actually assessing it is a uh, it's a honda mileage is around you know 98 
and the hp is of under the two so it is 60 the country of origin is uh, you know we haven't mentioned the country so we can take it is an indian company now the other company is tata it has the power around 103 and the hp they are horsepower is given 100 and the country is definitely india similarly we can enter number of data i mean whatever cars we are observing in the parking slot of our university campus we can enter the data of entire uh, models entire companies this is the uh, first and important exercise in spss whenever if you learn how to enter the data if you can learn how to appropriately you know uh, uh, define the scales your half part uh, of spss is done because you know after entering the right uh, quantity of data so we can say the uh, defining the appropriate scales we will definitely see that how we can analyze it so now after uh, we can enter two three more entries so that we can actually analyze this data now if you see the another car is also of tata and it has a mileage of around 104 and the hp is 60 and the country of origin is india the another car is we are seeing some xyz and xyz we haven't taken so it will not take another car is of mahindra yes it is of 104 and the uh, h horsepower is 100 the country is india now the next car is of uh, honda it is of horsepower 104 and we see we can see that it is of 100 and then the country is of belong to japan now our major uh, part starts that what we were seeing now we have to analyze this data how we can analyze it so there are certain you know uh, the, the 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 columns or the names it, it is given in this particular var it's file added view data and the one is transform the another one is analyze so we have to click on this analyze things since it is a kind of data on which we cannot perform the uh, the advanced uh, research analysis tools like this uh, the regression analysis or the neural network or the uh, factoring things everything is here, uh, given here the direct marketing or the simulation so here we can draw the tables so it will come that we can and perform the descriptive statistics and we will opt the frequency so when we uh, opt the frequency thing it will show us that there are uh, the uh, name of the car so when first we click the name of the car and then we enter this particular thing here we are seeing that variables name of the car comes here in the statistics we will see that there are central tendency kind of things the basic statistics needs mean median mode and sum so we will see the mode number of cars and then we will continue here and then it's okay now we are seeing that there are two honda car one hyundai car uh, two tata car one manda car and total number of data entered is six and this is also showing the percentage in the overall uh, you know in the overall uh, data and the ballot percentage and this cumulative percentage so this is how uh, we are actually entering in the data into the spss uh, variables and data group if you have any doubt then please ask that uh, i think most of you now can enter the data in spss file okay so this is uh, how we can perform the uh, statistics and the other thing also we can do here are uh, the options like the uh, statistics part here also the uh, draft or uh, sorry we can uh, draw the graph which we are actually i am more comfortable with the graph actually in uh, the uh, excel but here also we can draw the graph so here descriptive statistics we are, can go the distance covered and the horsepower so also you can see that what kind of relationship it will come out with this is how the descriptive statistics cover the maximum minimum and the mean is given there so this is how the basic statistics can be performed in by using spss one more relationship I want to draw here that uh, that was also asked uh, by the uh, coordinator to do. 
that if suppose we have the data in the excel sheet and we want to import the data so for that what we will do first i will uh, tell you that how we can save this particular data so here is the file thing you can save the data there are options save and save as so if you want to use this particular data in excel also you can save it you can opt the option as save as so when you see that the save as option you will say it will say that save as type spss statistic dot star dot sav extension file now here we have to opt that we will opt this excel data so for that we will see that excel extension it is given there the excel x excel x so we have to opt this particular thing and we will say this uh, the name of the file is car data and we can save wherever we want to save it now if we need uh, we we have to import the data from excel sheet then i have already told you that this uh, file can we can see uh, i mean we can take the we can use the excel data also so for that i am again opening the spss i will see that i will show you how we can import the data from the excel so this is the file uh, the opening file now we have to import the data which we have already collected from the excel file here we will uh, go in the file option we will see this import data and we can opt uh, opt this excel and then after this excel we are seeing that i have actually uh, saved this data in the spss uh, file in my ppt spss ppt and then this data set so here is the excel data this online shopping behavior data we will select it and it will be opened here in is it visible to all of you that this particular data actually i have collected by using the google doc uh, google form and it was a survey on uh, shopping behavior so this data is basically what was a csv file and then we have converted in uh, an excel sheet now we are importing it in uh, importing it uh, in this particular uh, we can say the spss software and we can see the data is given here so everything is here but but the problem is that again we have to define the variables so the name it is giving the string it, it is good but the width should be uh, around 8 it cannot be more than the 8 or suppose here is the gender it is given the string but now we have to convert the uh, uh, please uh, remember this point that we are actually using two or three gender that is male female and this transgender or we can say the other category so here it is saying that this excel sheet actually i have given the option in google form that is male and female but here in excel it is showing the string data because in excel sheet it was uh, the male and female and other options now we have to convert it is in a numeric data so what we will do we will say it is a numeric data and we will uh, define the uh, we uh, the well sorry values here so for values we are seeing that if it is a 1 it is a male and if it is a 2 for a female and 3 for other these are the options we have given in excel but in excel we have mentioned the text but when we use this data in uh, spss we have to define all these variables again similarly for age it is giving the string because in excel we have categorized uh, the age in brackets for example we have taken this 21 to 31 years of age so we have make it a uh, one option then from 35 to 45 we have make another category here also it is given uh, the string data we have to define again it is a numeric data and we have to define here also that one is for uh, level 
if for age bracket between uh, 21 to uh, 30 years. And then two is for the people, those who have 31 to 45. So this is how we will, uh, we have to define our variables while importing the files from Excel to SPSS. And then we are seeing that there are the data, like for example, family income monthly in rupees. And then how frequently do you shopping online? These are all, all the data given in the string forms. So wherever we found that this data should be in a particular scale, we have to make it, um, make the appropriate change while importing the data from Excel. For example, here the data is saying that customer can compare prices of different products, services on website. This, this particular question is on Likert scale. This is this was on Likert scale, but here it is saying this numeric data that is appropriately good here also, but here the scale is showing the nominal, but it cannot be a nominal scale. It should be an ordinal scale. So we have to redefine the a scale as an uh, ordinal scale for all the questions which we have asked on the Likert scale. So this is a difficulty when we import the data from uh, Excel to uh, SPSS. Am I audible to all of you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Your lecture is very good. It is very useful to processing data. Uh, that so would be you... listening like that. Okay. Uh, so now uh, the third thing actually uh, uh, the uh, madam was saying me to cover the I have covered two three two things the third was about wait for a minute I have yes it was about SPSS uh, I mean the analysis of uh, uh, the data so yes this is very important, especially uh, you have to understand that what kind of data or what kind of research needs what kind of tools. For example, here uh, I have told you that how we can, you can analyze the data because uh, I have a very large data set. I have just and uh, you know I have just I was just using this online shopping data. So I'm again opening this so that I can easily explain that how you can analyze the last point. That is IBM SPSS. Wait. Yes. So here, actually, uh, these are the statistics. So here it is given, I mean, the regression analysis and this classification, the two step clusters, the dimension reduction. So uh, remember, if you are able to understand that what kind of data uh, should be uh, you know in a particular scale so i have told you that there were four scales in our statistics and there are three scales on our uh, spss now after entering the data and after cross examining the variable view and data view so we are we i can assume that all of you are able to define variables in an appropriate manner now you have to and uh, you have to conduct you know a particular test on this so there are the most commonly used uh, spss tests are this for example the regression analysis so if you are you know saying that you are uh, uh, you are uh, you want to run a regression analysis here you can go and then there are uh, the regression analysis is there then automatic linear regression modeling the uh, linear regression, so multiple multimodal logistic regression here is given there Similarly, if you want to uh, create some factors, for example, if, for example, in this recently opened file, Excel file, I was, uh, I was conducting research on online shopping, but I want to know that what factors actually motivate consumers to buy uh, the online shopping. So I have actually mentioned, I have asked 20 questions on Likert skills and these 20 questions, uh, including the, uh, the facilities or we can say the attributes of online shopping, so there are a number of things which motivates us to buy 
uh, from online shopping. But uh, in research, what we will do, we cannot say that these 20 things actually, uh, you know, helping uh, customers to buy online, but they need that specific kind of factors. For suppose they will say what kind of utilitarian values one can draw from uh, online shopping. So for that, I found that, uh, you know, if I will create some factors that will be good for uh, our research. So this analyze, analyze and then we have to dimension reduction things. We will go in this dimension reduction and we will run factor analysis on these questions. And we have different kind of statistical values that the, uh, you know, we have to take the, what kind of question we have to take, what kind of factors we will consider. And this particular uh, tool will help us to reduce these 20 questions in three or four factors. So on each factor, the four or five questions will be uh, loaded and then we will get only four factors. Now on the, on the basis of these loading on each factor, we will explain that these four factors are responsible for motivating consumer to buy online. For example, other thing is that there here it is given that classific, classify. Now it is very popular nowadays that we conduct uh, research in social science by taking different, uh, you know, age group. So suppose, you know, there are government policies and I, uh, we want uh, to perceive, uh, to, we want to measure the perception of uh, different people, different kind of people. So we can uh, create the cluster. For example, the uh, what youngsters think about the employment of, uh, in the country, what uh, the oldest people think about the employment of the country. So that kind of things we can perform here. So there are uh, so many things here. If whatever is your specialization, you can uh, analyze or you can uh, collect the data and then you can analyze uh, 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 particular tools or particular, you know, the statistics on that data. And the interpretation part will be actually based on your subject knowledge. So uh, SPSS will just give us uh, some, uh, some statistical uh, things, some numeric data, but uh, on you know, what kind of data, for example, the level of significance, we all know, but especially in the factor analysis, there are certain uh, modules or certain, uh, you know, the tutorials are given on the species website. You can see that what kind of values are accepted or what kind of uh, measures we have to take in while interpreting uh, the output of the analysis we are performing on species. So that is all about uh, from my side. If you have any questions regarding this data variable importing and exporting and the analysis part, you can ask. Hello, is there anyone? Adil, sir. Uh, ah, dear, part dear participant, ah. if anybody query regarding the data variable, you can ask. Sir is waiting for questions. Raise, uh, please raise hands. But, I'm not able to see the hands here. Yes, you can ask, you can raise your hands here. Even after this, this particular thing, you know, when we conduct this lecture, I found that most of the people uh, does not uh, able to relate it uh, with their real practice, uh, real problems. So whenever you conduct your research, my email ID and uh, uh, phone number is given on the first slide. <clears throat> You can uh, share your queries there also, even after you know uh, after getting this, over this research. Because you know when doing the practical on SPSS, <clears throat> it's entirely different. Uh, while attending the sessions on SPSS, you actually that's why I say that you know it needs hand-on practice. If you conduct the workshop in physical mode, definitely you will get that uh, SPSS software on your desktop, and then you will by yourself you will enter the data, and then you can see the results. Definitely you will have more queries than. Uh, rather than just attending this session and I'm uh, telling a lot of things, but <laughs> yeah, no, the online things has some restrictions. That's why I think it will have less queries or no queries.
Anybody else? Hey. No, sir. Uh, Ruchi Tendon raised hand. Yes. What Ruchi? What is your query? Ah, uh, ha. Sir, uh, you must have told also I joined little late. Uh, sir, yes. is there any free trial for SPSS and can we download? Yes, 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 yes. You can, you know, even you can uh, for 15 days, I think it is a free uh, version available on their website. So you can do it. And uh, after that, you need the subscription. So basic analysis for trial version, especially for, you know, to understand the basics of SPSS, you can download the trial version. Or also, I will not suggest here because it is an official lecture, but here there are pirated version also available and you can cracked version, we can say. So uh, for academic purpose, we can also use these cracked version, especially it is given in this intellectual property right things that for academic and research purpose, a researcher individually can use the pirated version until unless uh, he or she is not commercializing the research output. So yes, you can use both the things, uh, the trial version also, and also you can use uh, the cracked version. Because this is very costly, actually. So purchasing yes, for yes, a yes, yes. purpose Definitely. is very is not possible. Yes, yes. So uh -huh. uh, and another thing is that uh, like, uh, it is it compatible with Windows or do we have to? Yeah, no, no, it is like compatible with Windows, but you you need but you need a good processor and uh, the RAM also. So you must need that 4 GB RAM and a, a processor, uh, uh, at least i3 processor should be there. Otherwise, you know, you will see that there is a hang issues uh, in your uh, uh, in your uh, uh, analysis hangout. Then you have to be, I will suggest you that if you have a, hello. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. am, am I audible? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, the query. So, is there any other query? Patil sir. Okay. Hello. Patil sir. Patil sir. Patil, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. I express my deep sense of gratitude to Honorable Dr. Anil Kumar Kashyap, sir, for his highly intellectual deliberations and for having uh, enlightened all about uh, statistical products and uh, service solutions. Dr. Kashyap deeply pointed out objective, uh, objectives of SP, SS, and uh, Dr. Kashyap, sir, highlighted the reasons for not using SPSS and scales of uh, measurement. Uh, also, sir, explain the details how to use SPSS. Uh, sir, your uh, deliberations at the event really proved to be great impacts for all to enhance their knowledge. It was very pleasant experience to uh, listen to you. I thank Dr. Kashyap, sir, and thank you to one and all. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Should I leave now?